Hey guys, I'm Ben. I'm uh this is my new dropper seat post. Now, if you guys don't know what a dropper seat post is, it's pretty much like a seat, but it's not a seat. It's a seat that adjusts up and down with the button. So, this one I bought it from Jensen. It's a KS Lev DX. I've been um jealous ever since my brother got the um got his trigger cannondale trigger because he came with the dropper seat post and i was like i want one so <coughs> opens pretty simply simple uh oh wrong side <coughs> whoa it's pretty heavy not like super heavy enough to affect your weight of your bike um i believe these are this is the cable right here. In this white box, it's the cable. Um, here's the brake, or no, not the brake lever. The button. And the cable. And some stickers. Get down and dirty. That's what it says. It says a Lev and a KS. It's pretty cool. Got dibs, boy. Now here is the actual thing. It's I don't know. I'll weigh it, but it's um as you can see, black. It's not like one of those really colorful ones. Um, this looks like it should fit my bike. It might stick out like a uh, half an inch or something. Um, but this is um not at least i don't think one that goes inside of your frame i'm pretty sure it goes under your um your frame so it doesn't go inside it goes under but this is a 305 dollar ks love dx really cool We're gonna have to switch the quick release clamp to the other one. It's a little tight right now, so I'm gonna have my brother do it. So let's see if it fits. Is this way? Boom. Perfect fit. Oh my goodness. I think it'll be on this side. Here, move the move the little tag. Yank it off. Don't release that. Get off that. Not turn your head out of the way. Don't turn that off. So, see, it perfectly fits. It's supposed to go like this because the seat, you know, you want it to be straight. So, it won't work with the release clamp because it'll clamp onto right here. So, we're going to have to use one of these where it's a screw on with one of those wrench things. And. We're gonna see, we're gonna decide another day if we should do it um, right here or on the bottom because it's a school night right now and we need to get ready for tomorrow. Okay, dropper seat post test number one. <laughs> seat test number two. Oh, nice. good for small frames like mine because there's a curve right here and you need a small um, seat post in order to uh, like make it fit and I got the second lowest size so they have a smaller size than this surprisingly um, it's really good that it slams down all the way so that's really good. And like I was saying, this is not the smallest one. There's an 80 millimeter of travel. Travel. This is 100 millimeter. So this is 100 millimeters. The 80 millimeter would be smaller than this. So I got the 
hundred millimeter because we thought it, we think we thought it was gonna um, fit my bike better, and it did. So the reason why I like it to slam down all the way is because you can get your weight behind the seat when you're going downhill. That's good because if so, your front tire can roll over rocks, and you won't do an endo over the front bars. But when you're going uphill, you want it higher so your legs extend more and that's gonna help you going uphill. So when I get my growth spurt, <laughs> I'm going to need to push it up, the whole entire thing up, but you can't push it all the way, all the way up because then it won't work. So there's a minimum thing where you can't put it higher and it, then if you put it higher than that, it won't work. So by that time, I'm gonna need a new bike. Yeah.